So in today's speed build, I'm doing another tiny home, go figure, and this one is actually going to be uh, for the big sister challenge. Now, obviously this is more or less inspired by the big sister challenge. It's definitely not a starter home. I mean, it, it's a little bit more expensive than like a traditional starter for two Sims. It's like 24,000 simoleons. So it's not entirely unrealistic, but um, it's still very much so inspired by that. So I actually saw a comment recently on my channel and uh, I'll actually bring it up, but uh, while it's loading really quickly, I'll just talk to you about it. So the idea was um, something like a van life build in Sulani. And I actually am like, I was instantly inspired, but of course, you know, it's kind of hard to do a van in The Sims 4. Yeah, so it was Amani Scott. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. But they said a build like this would be so cool in Sulani, like a van life situation. Um, but yeah, that was such a good idea anyways. Like, um, so I kind of imagine that this would be sort of like a trailer kind of tiny home that was being pulled by a truck. And I had this whole like storyline in my head of they pulled in and the truck broke down they were kind of stuck here for a while and they eventually just made this place their permanent home and yeah I don't know I just kind of like that idea that maybe it was just two sisters on a little road trip together one was like maybe like a teen or a young adult and the other one was like a kid and like maybe they're orphans and they were just kind of like having a little road trip to explore the world and uh, they you know found themselves in Sulani and uh, their truck breaks down and they're just like well I guess we're gonna be staying here for a bit and yeah they just decided to kind of set up a semi-permanent residency here maybe they do plan on moving out eventually but uh, or moving along but uh, yeah I don't know I just feel like this house looks really really cute here on this lot this is a 20 by 20 lot in the beautiful beautiful world of Sulani and uh, I, I honestly love building in this area of Sulani a lot it's just it's my favorite place to play into it's just it's so beautiful but yeah I try to keep this uh, home very bright and colorful it has some like yellow siding eventually and I don't know I just wanted it to be very like friendly and colorful and just I wanted it to make sense for it to be like two just two girls on the road just having a good time you know and it is indeed a micro home absolutely I was very very happy I decided to build this home on a diagonal because I was like you know I really like that idea of you building a home on the diagonal and uh, it was it was a challenge it was a little bit of a challenge because we all know the unfortunate counters uh, glitch with the shadows when it comes to diagonal walls but I made it work because uh, there's this little section where there is a quote-unquote diagonal wall it's actually not it's a straight wall the rest is diagonal but you know what I mean you'll see it eventually but I made the kitchen kind of um, interesting in how it's laid out and uh, it's just one big living space though so there's like the little tiny kitchen with a small bathroom and then there's a couple beds there's just a little couch uh, they don't have much but it's just enough for them to have a little home and uh, I can imagine they're not going to be inside very often here because Sulani is an absolutely beautiful beautiful world and it would be such a shame for them to just stay inside all the time but yes this house is available on the Sims 4 gallery all you have to do is search for my username that is Luca Owens that is L-U-C-E oh wait L-U-C-C-A-O-W-E-N-S I was like starting to spell out Luca, but then I started saying L-U-C-E-Y. That's that's my old one, um, but it's not with a C, it's with a K. I don't know. Anyways, I actually just got home from work, so I'm a little bit spooned out, as you would say. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm, I've used a lot of my social energy today, so speaking into a mic isn't really social, social, socialable. I've talked a lot today regardless and uh, uh, I've, I've kind of used that tool a little bit too much today but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get this done before I mowed my yard because that's something I have to do now as uh, as you know as an adult uh, which I've always done but you know it's it's yeah I made a little pathway to the front door there and I used some debug fencing actually from Island Living so it kind of blends in the world a lot nicer and that's definitely a huge uh, like landscaping tip that I give you is to just look around the lot 
and try to use the live edit objects uh, that you see, which you usually can find them in uh, in the uh, show live edit objects like section of the catalog. Now I will say if you are a PC builder and you're willing to download a mod, I definitely recommend checking out the Better Build by mod by Twisted Mexi. He has this incredible mod that basically um, re-tags and sorts out all of the live edit objects in the game so that when you go to your plants section, Section, um, and you turn on the live edit function in your filters, it shows like all of the plants from live edit in the actual plant section in the catalog. I know it's such a simple thing, but let me tell you, it will transform your building. Like I, it's, it's, I can't build without this mod anymore. It's just it's so incredibly useful. But yeah, like I was saying before, just look around the area of uh, the world. And if you're in a pack specific world, like Sulani, um, it, you can just filter by Island living and just, just use that stuff. Um, you can obviously use a few things from base game if it fits. Um, and other packs, of course, but it's a really good baseline to start with what you already have. That's what I did here. Um, I absolutely love those big, I, 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 what, what, what are they called? Are, they're not fiddly fig plants. You know, I, I shouldn't be saying I, I should know these things because I don't, um, but yeah, I'm so sorry for the traffic, by the way. But anyways, I use those and oh my goodness, I love them. I never really get to use them, uh, or at least I just don't use them. But in this case, they just fit so perfectly. And I really like this little lot because I can imagine that they rented this little lot for a little while because they were like, oh yeah, we're going to set up in Sulani for a little bit and explore the area. And they pulled in and they were having a good time. And then a couple days later, they were like, oh yeah, maybe we should move or, you know, go along somewhere else in the world and their truck doesn't start and they're just like well I guess we're stuck here for a little bit and uh, they eventually find themselves just kind of staying here for a while and I don't know maybe the big sister falls in love and they really find a nice community here in Sulani like I kind of imagine that they have neighbors that like notice these two girls kind of just being alone and they're just like oh here here's some food you all must be hungry because that happens in Sulani which I'm pretty sure that's specific specific to this world, right? Because I remember um, when I was playing this sometime recently, I noticed that I constantly had like the neighbors dropping by and just having extra food and they would just hang out and just everybody would just chill out and eat some food together. And like, I don't know, my Sim has developed so many friendships in Sulani uh, just by living there. And I just, I don't know, there's just something, it's something so small, but I really love little elements of gameplay like that because it's not something that I have to do. It's something that the game does itself and honestly it just adds so much lore and it just it just I don't know it just makes the world feel so much bigger in the sims but here's the kitchen that I was talking about I tried to make it look like it was kind of like tucked in this little corner it looks a little awkward but do you see any of those lighting glitches I don't think so so I made it work um, I just gave them a mini fridge a microwave and a sink I've been doing that a lot lately especially with these tiny homes it just makes the most sense because you can have a stove but the Sims 4, we do have those stove tops. You could place one down in here and it would actually fit pretty well. But I don't know. I just thought having a microwave, maybe it's an air fryer microwave, you know, one of those fancy ones. Um, it, are those are those a, such a thing? Or is it an air fryer convection oven, toaster oven thing? Who knows? We'll just say that's what it is. Remember in The Sims 1 when, you, when we had toaster ovens? That was the time, wasn't it? I remember my Sims always caught their kitchen on fire. Like every single time that they did that. But yeah, here I am coming up with the colors and I of course had to use the vampire game pack flooring because it's usually a diagonal flooring, but in this house, it looks straight. So there we go. It, isn't it so cool? I, I don't know. I just thought it looked fun and I wish we had a flooring that was just like this. Like, you know what I mean? Like I wish we had a flooring that was like straight that was this thin. I really, really like it. It's just, oh, it's, it's the little things in The Sims 4. But I did fully player test this house, so everything does function. I think the only thing I don't remember testing is that bookshelf on the, like the, the bare bookshelf there. I think the other one is accessible, but the one on the left there isn't. Maybe, I, I, I haven't tested it, so I won't know. But um, yeah, the bathroom is fully functional. The kitchen's fully functional. Uh, both the beds are. The computer does get moved. I do move the computer over somewhere because that wasn't functional. Or, or maybe it was functional and the bed was not. That's 
probably what happened. But yeah, I'm actually being good and remembering to do that whenever I finish my builds because, you know, I do want them to be functional and playable for you all, which, you know, uh, that's that's kind of the point right is building these so that people can download them and you know use them and i hope you do and if you do that's great if you don't and you just watch this for inspiration that's also pretty cool too because that's what i do honestly when it comes to speed builds i tend to just sit and watch them just to kind of get inspired to build in the sims because sometimes i just need something to kind of motivate me a little bit and uh yeah that really really helps is just looking up some speed builds and just seeing what I can find. But yeah, it's pretty much coming along and uh, it's almost done, honestly. Um, and uh, I did this beautiful leaf wallpaper in the bathroom. I couldn't help it. It's just oh, it's so perfect. And I used the tile from the uh, Courtyard Oasis kit. And of course, since it is like, it's also one of those diagonal floors that in this build, it actually looked straight. So yeah, there we go. But um, I do add a few more details and a few more things to do outside. Add some bicycles, of course. I added a little waiting pool. And I added this like table, this like sales table that I was like, maybe they like sell things throughout the daytime. I don't know. And of course, you know me. I can't help it, but I, I simply had to. I added a chicken coop out the back because I feel like that makes the most sense. Um, I'm actually about to place it here in just a second, but um, I was like, you know what? Maybe maybe they've been here for a bit. They really just, they just, they just decided that they're gonna stay here for a little while. And the neighbors were like, hey, we have some chickens. Do you want them? And they're just like, you know what? Okay, let's do that. And uh, they honestly love the chickens. And I feel like here in Sulani, it just makes the absolute most sense because you, got, you can actually see some, I don't think, are they chickens? I don't really know, but they're on some other lot. They're like this, like, they're not really animals. They're more like objects, but um, you can see them kind of like circling around at, behind this one like shell house. I don't know. It was really cool. And I thought that makes the most sense. And I don't know. It is very, it's like, islandy but it, there is like a rural element to this area too so it makes the most sense and i think that you know yeah i would have chickens if i lived here too and i made it a yellow chicken coop so it matched the house and yeah that's pretty much it oh i didn't put a i didn't put a clothes hamper oops or a or a clothesline you know that would have made a lot of sense if i put that if you do download this and you have laundry day i would do that because i added a wash bin i didn't think about that Oh well. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you got to this part of the video, how about you comment chicken nugget? I, I'm sorry if you're vegan. Um, it, it can be a vegan chicken nugget too. You know, it's it's just because we were talking about chickens. You could just say chicken. Um, I, I don't know. I'm so, Yeah. Anyways, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay home. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. And that is everything. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird. And I'll speak to y'all soon. Bye, y'all.